Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to do an oil change on a Lexus GX460. This is going to be an oil change on a Lexus with skid plates. These uh, skid plates are by RCI. Very common modification. There it is. And the first thing if you have skid plates uh, like these is you got to remove this access bolt or access cover. Ours are covered in dirt and mud from off-roading. Um, if your vehicle stock, don't worry, just watch this video. You'll still get an idea of what to do. It's pretty much similar because the stock uh, uh, cover also has access holes. Um, but if you do have skid plates, uh, keep in mind that you may have to contend with some issues like we did here. These, uh, This access port for the oil filter uses these uh, kind of Allen head bolts and as you can see ours are stripped so we're trying to uh <laughs> try to to get this going uh but the uh, heads are completely marred and smashed uh, from off-roading so uh we're going to struggle in in vain here <laughs> trying to get a uh locking pliers pipe wrench the uh the heads of these bolts are just uh, too rounded and there's not enough to grab on so uh, essentially we've got a problem here uh that we're gonna have to fix we got to get to the uh, oil filter tried banging a uh, allen wrench you know one size bigger to try to get in there but uh, eventually uh uh, we had to resort to removing the whole skid plate. Uh, so you might have to do this if you got a skid plate too. Because uh, it's it's very common to uh, mess up those access bolts there that you just saw. Uh, where the oil, oil filter uh, access hole is at. So anyway, uh, this particular skid plate by RCI uses six. 13 millimeter head bolts. Um, two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back, so they have to go. So there's the back side of the bolts for the access. And I'm basically gonna take the uh, pipe wrench here and uh, kind of lefty loosey it. From this side, and uh, we'll get it out of there. Okay. Um, as you can see, the if you look uh, towards the top left, that's the front aftermarket bumper, and it kind of sandwiches in the RCI front skid plate here. So uh, it wasn't practical to to take the whole skid plate out. So instead. Uh, it just dropped down enough at this angle that you see here, with which gave us plenty of uh, room to access this uh, this access hole here, and uh, off it comes. So we're going to have to add some uh, new bolts in there, obviously because the old ones are messed up. Uh, clean the area, reach up in there. Alright, so these were the these were the bolts that got stripped. They had some sort of Allen head on them that got all gashed up off-road. And uh, this is these are for the access door again for the uh, so you can reach up and get the oil filter through that access hole that RCI provides you on the skid plates. Anyway, uh, I took it up here to our uh, metric, random metric bolts. Found a metric nut, I'm not sure what size. I'm sure it's, I don't know, M8 or something, or M6, M8 maybe, maybe kind of. But it's a metric size. And so, you go in your metric bag of supplies basically and find a uh, Something that fits, such as a uh, metric like that. Let's see if it's the right length. A little bit shorter. 
Right, it should work. It's about the same. Because you have plenty of thread going through that bracket anyway. So these uh, metric should fit. So just match your metric nut up that you know fits on this. And here's your new metric bolt and washer fits right on so these will be the new ones for that uh, access bolt these nice these came off of Toyota I can tell because of the sunken in uh, nut head only I think only Toyota does that really good quality bolt anyway these will be the new access holes we don't need the nut because it's a captive nut on the RCI plate but uh, there you go now if they shrink now if they get um, beat up off road uh, you'll be able to get on there with a pipe wrench a little better and the key is to not tighten these too much just hold on the access plate so if they do get marred up off road and you got to use a pipe wrench eventually they'll come off easier but this will give me more to bite on with a pipe wrench that head hex head versus this beveled head here so that's the plan all right so that's the plan for that access hole so anyway on to uh, the whole point of this video, which is to change the oil. So there's your uh, there's your drain bolt, 14 millimeter head. And again, if you're dealing with stock plates, uh, there's an, a similar access hole under this oil pan here that I believe comes out with either 10 millimeter head or Phillips screw. Anyway, now it's time to get your hands nice and dirty and crop the uh, plug and the <laughs> and the oil there. And here you go. Get your um, tool to uh, get that uh, oil filter off. It's uh, it's actually keyed in four positions: one on the top, three on the bottom. So once you get a tool on there, even though it has limited access, you'll have a lot of bite on that filter. Go ahead, get your hands dirty again. <laughs> okay, here's a close-up of the bottom of the filter. Some people like the plastic style, some people don't, whatever. The point is, unscrew this, and there's three keys here. One up here, three down here. One, two, three, four. And here's your oil filter wrench, which goes on the same way. And it fits to three-eighths or whatever you got. Okay, so that's how that fits together. Don't forget to remove the O-ring on the uh, old filter here. Use a pick or whatever you got. Go ahead and pick this off, and that's just a o ring that's what does the sealing uh, on your oil filter. Clean the little groove that it goes into, it's all standard stuff. That's what inside looks like. Make sure there's no junk in there, and most importantly, use a Toyota Lexus slash Lexus oil filter. Never cheap out on these. I don't care what's in AutoZone, what, what's online. There's nothing better than a Toyota slash Lexus uh, oil filter. These are made by Denso in Taiwan or Thailand. Let me see. Thailand. Made by Denso. So you got your new seal. Don't use anything online or in the auto parts store. These are the best oil filters you can get. Go ahead and pop that in. And saying uh, Thailand, Taiwan, Japan is all synonymous today. It's all the same deal. Meaning it's the same quality as Japan. It's not a Chinese made filter. And for your O-ring, you can use oil or just take some uh, silicone paste. That's all this is. And just go ahead and get it on the ring here. And this is just to make sure the seal doesn't rip or shred or anything. And then go ahead and stretch that on and roll it down into the groove. And then you'll be pretty much good to go. But always get that Toyota filter. These, if you do one thing, don't cheap out on the filter. This is what traps all the dirt out of your engine, blah, blah, blah. So there it is, ready to go back in the car. There's the O-ring, and I can feel it my fingers, it's oily or greasy with the silicone grease. So it shouldn't have any problems going back on. And you're just gonna snug this up, nothing crazy. 
and let's go ahead and do that. Back under the car, you can go ahead and get this uh, filter assembly in, just screws in, screw it hand tight and then snug it down with your special tool. Some people uh, pre-fill the uh, filter, uh, but you know, we don't, we've never had any issues. Uh, for reference, Toyota calls for oil changes every 10,000 miles with synthetic on this vehicle. So that's what we do. And again, you're just gonna snug this filter up. Um, you know, once it bottoms out, give it a little more and you're good to go. And then we can uh, go ahead to move on to the drain plug. There is a, a little washer on there. Sometimes it falls off, sometimes it doesn't. So make sure you have a ceiling washer on there. Uh, we tend to reuse ours a few times. <laughs> uh, you know, because they, they tend to last a few uses. Maybe every th third oil change, we'll go ahead and replace the washer. Now fill uh, back with its 8.3 quarts of oil. Start the, cor uh, the car, let it uh, oil circulate through the filter. Uh, and to, to, you know, make sure the oil circulates everywhere. And we had to go ahead, since we got these plates, mess around and uh, put this front skid back on. So reinstall those six bolts. And check for leaks at your plug and your filter. And you're good to go. Now in our case here, we're going to add two new hex head bolts to the big access port that we struggled with in the beginning uh, where the bolt heads were stripped. So these are going to be uh, nice hex head bolts like you saw earlier. And if we do, there they are, if we do go ahead and, and grind those down off-roading, should have a lot more to grab on with a pipe wrench. And that's it. You're good to go. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.